India has surpassed Japan to become the third largest power in the Asia Power Index. The RDO's hypersonic cruise missile is envisioned to have scramjet propulsion for 1,000 seconds, that will give it a range of about 2,000 kilometers. The RDO has awarded a 15.4 crore rupees contract to Hyderabad-based Temtar Technologies to manufacture and supply full-scale and subscale combustors for air-breathing engines. U.S. Navy's Charles True replenishment vessel has arrived in L&T shipyard for repairs under the Master Ship Repair Agreement. The DRDO and researchers of Indian Institute of Technology Delhi has developed lightweight bulletproof jackets, which have front and rear armors that provide 360-degree protection. Bengaluru-based Celeritas Automation has secured a contract from the Indian Navy to develop an advanced optical landing system for aircraft carriers. Indian Army has successfully concluded a 12-week technical and tactical training program for the Tanzanian Army's mechanized infantry. The armies of India and Oman are conducting Al Naja 5 2024 joint exercise in Oman. The Aeronautical Development Establishment has initiated development work on two external fuel drop tanks for the upcoming Tejas Mark II program, a 1,700-litre drop tank and a 1,300-litre drop tank. Two units of each drop tank will be produced for testing purposes, however, the final procurement will include six units of the 1,700-litre drop tank and three units of the 1,300-litre drop tank that will be integrated with the Tejas Mark II prototypes that will significantly enhance the aircraft range and endurance. The DRDO and Indian Air Force are preparing for a series of combined weapon trials using a specially modified Su-30 fighter jet that includes the Mach 5.5 capable DRDO's Rudram-1, Rudram-2 and Rudram-3 anti-radiation missiles. This testbed will enable the DRDO to evaluate the performance of the Rudram missile series both in terms of aerodynamics and weapon integration, and will also assess the combined operational effectiveness of these weapon systems in real-world conditions, including their ability to evade enemy radar and jamming attempts and maintain target accuracy. The Navy is planning to procure two Rafale simulation centers, that will offer a highly realistic representation of the aircraft and its operating environment. The simulation centers will be instrumental in mission preparation, debriefing and training pilots in all operational domains, including electronic warfare, intelligence gathering and combat tactics, and will provide a safe and controlled environment for pilots to practice their skills and hone their decision-making abilities. After multiple rounds of negotiations, Vietnam, Malaysia and Brunei are in advanced stages of discussion with India for acquiring the BrahMos shore based anti-ship missile system, and the potential for a deal with these countries is reportedly high. As a smaller nation, Brunei is focusing on strengthening its coastal defense to protect its maritime claims, while Vietnam wants to deploy BrahMos to counter potential naval threats in the South China Sea, and Malaysia also sees BrahMos missile as a highly effective deterrent against intrusions in its territorial waters. Today's Top 3 Comments Oh, Mark, drop it.